Okay, so we have all of our ingredients for the pizza sauce. We have some Roma tomatoes, some onion, oregano, thyme, basil, and lime. So I've got clove in here, epizote, guava leaf, mustard leaf, black pepper, onion powder, fennel, uh, oregano, mumo leaf, which is a local peppery giant leaf, Ruta, which is like, it breaks spells, and it's cleansing, so that's magical to put in there. And a little bit of rosemary and pine pollen from the pine trees right there. So what a good mix, huh? Yeah. I always have the most medicinal meal as possible. Pretty good salt here, actually, too. And I always put cayenne and everything. It's alkaline. And a little black pepper. Oh, yes. And now we blend. And here's the pizza sauce. All right, let's make the pizza crust. I like to put in the salt, cayenne pepper. I would love to grow my own cayenne pepper and put it in here, and habanero. Those are both alkaline, alkaline heirloom, according to Sebi, a little black pepper. This black pepper was uh, a bunch of different colors. Quite interesting, very floral. I got all of these seasonings in here. In the seasonal? In the seasonal. I like to put about that much. I would like to put more, but it goes through it too fast. Because I love me some medicine. In every bite that I take. And, uh, Speaking of that, I like to do, I would do all spelt flour, we don't have it. So, all quinoa flour works good too, but I like to add a little amaranth, because I think that's a, it has a lot of medicinal value, but it doesn't make good flour, so I just put a little in there. Doesn't make good pizza dough, it's too thin. It just doesn't bind well. Right. And then, same reason, I put a little coconut flour in there too for, just a different range of minerals. But it doesn't bind well either. All right, and I like to just mix this up a little. And then I'm gonna add the quinoa, which is great for bread. It's a lot like cornbread, actually. But uh, spelt flour, I would say, would be the most superior. And we, were, we are working with uh, rye flour. It's okay, it's a little sour. This is rye flour, but this would be alkaline as well. And after being on the alkaline diet, you can certainly tell when you eat something that's not on uh, the alkaline list made by Sebi and the Usha Institute. Um, yeah, you can really tell. At least I think I can. So mix in the salt, distribute the salt and the herbs evenly. Like so. And then I put a little oil in there, truffle oil. It's a black mushroom. Mycelium, I think, sort of. S super flavor flavorful. So is uh, toasted sesame seed. Untoasted sesame seed is also flavorful, but when it's toasted, it's about five times more flavorful. That makes it taste a little Chinese. Vinegar, no thanks. Um, this is local organic uh, olive oil. A company just uses this old bottle. Sometimes there's hemp oil in here too. I would suggest putting hemp oil in uh, all of your food. You can get a gallon of hemp oil on Amazon for like $40. And it lasts, here I'll show you. And it lasts a 
a long time. I don't know if this Sulu brand is still around, but there's plenty of them. I've seen them. This one was like $42. And of course we use our hydrogen water for our cooking. The hydrogen makes it more bioavailable. According to hydrogen man Greg. And there's distilled water in here. And it's structured water too. There's structuring technology in there too, so it's great medicinal food. Wow, yeah, the quinoa is a good, great dough. So much like cornbread. But you want it like Play-Doh, where it doesn't stick to your hands and it's not too dry. But it needs some moisture down here. That should be perfect. You wanna make sure all the dry flour is not wasted and it's in the dough pile. Continue to mix it up and knead it, and that should be good to toss into the pan. Just like that. Yeehaw. And while we are preparing the pizza, make sure to preheat your oven. We have our ours at 450. Oil the pan so it doesn't stick, and it kind of boils it. Move it around evenly, get it on the sides. You don't want it to adhere to the glass. So we have some grease from Greece. <laughs> Most olives are from Greece. And just form it. Make the crust about that thick. Or depending, more or less, um, Dependent upon your desire of crust depth. And like I say, I think spelt flour is definitely the best. Some organic sprouted spelt flour. That makes really high quality crust. But we can't get that right now. This is good too. It's good to change it up too. Mm -hmm. Get a different range of minerals and nutrients. So I think your body maxes out on a certain food after a couple weeks of eating it. All right, I'm gonna shove the sides up a little bit so there's like a an edge, ledge, rim. Little handle, pizza handle. Handle. <laughs> It's a handle. And now here's for the fun part. We get to build the pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we add the sauce. And we kept it chunky because... We're gonna try it like that for a while. Yeah, it was good last time. Okay, and spread that around. We thought it was a little watery last time, like when we put it on, but it was not. It wasn't. Once it bakes, it's like perfect. And then we also have red bell pepper, onion, jalapeno pepper, habanero pepper, green olives. I prefer black, but today we have green. And we have a coconut cheese I made the other day, which I will. Uh, make a video in the future. Let's build it. All right, let's put the habaneros on. Yeehaw. And some onion. I don't like raw onion, but cooked onion is fine every yeah. now and then. Baked. Jalapeno. Looking good, huh? Looking real good. And some red. Yeah. Bell pepper. And you can add whatever toppings, obviously, that you want, but this is just what we have on hand. Yep. We've done figs and uh, walnuts. Mm. They're actually really good. Mm -hmm. Dates. All right. Let's put some olives on it. 
Looking good, huh? It's looking so good. I'm so hungry. Yeah. It's like two o'clock and we haven't eaten yet. Had some juice and a smoothie, but nothing solid yet. Yeah. Juice almost makes you hungrier sometimes. Mmm. Yeah, maybe gets the enzymes going. Okay, so the cheese that I made the other day isn't uh, hard enough to grate, but you can just slice it up and it works just fine on pizza. It doesn't need to be uh, grated like your traditional pizza. So just slice them off the hunk and there you go. It doesn't quite melt yet, this cheese formula. Yeah. It doesn't have to melt, but eventually we might discover a way to melt it. I'm thinking a CMOS cheese with uh, the water from garbanzo bean. Faba? Aquafaba. Yeah. It's very possible. Okay. Okay, now to make it even more medicinal, we okay. add the seasonal blend on top. And flavorful. True. Salt amplifies everything. It's electric. It's Aquarius's mineral. Sodium chloride. Yes. Amplifier. And lots of trace minerals. A lot of people don't like the salt, but I can't get behind that one quite. I tried salt. I tried no salt for a, a couple weeks, three weeks, I think. And I didn't like it. Maybe I'm just addicted. And that was cayenne you put on? Oh yeah, that was black pepper. This is cayenne. There it is. Ready to go into the oven. And she goes. 